it's Insane Gamers, and welcome back to another Pokemon Black and White Wi-Fi battle. And you guys better freaking enjoy this battle, because I had to crash my computer twice just to freaking record it. Oh my gosh, my computer is basically just a rock with a screen taped to it, I swear to God. Anyway, got a battle here against, um, 249 Ways to Die, which is definitely not a parody, parody of a hundred... God, let me start again. A parody of a thousand ways to die. Anyway, this was supposed to be UU, and he kind of brought uh, two OUs, which sucked. But um, anyhow, whatever. I I, <coughs> I told him that and it didn't make him change it because he already saw my team. So whatever. Anyway, um, I, he leads off with Jodeon. I lead off with a Quake. A Quake. The house begins to shake. I set up my stealth rocks, and now here's a giant bell. An OU giant bell. Anyhow, he sets up rocks as well, which is kind of obvious. And I went into this because, uh, you know, physical wall, bronze song, explosion, that kind of stuff. And oh my god, he's running a freaking popsicle. This kid is awesome. Um, so yeah, he um, uses he's using my popsicle set. You know, the one with counter. I think it has counter. He never actually used it. But holy crap, popsicles! Oh my god, I can't believe it. It's so cute. Oh my god. Uh, Okay, I'm gonna stop having a fit about popsicles, but seriously, he's popsicles. Anyway, I switched to this guy because I don't know why. Um, oh, I know why, because I wanted to put something to sleep. That's why. Um, anyhow, I just went for the spore. Whatever was, it, whatever is gonna go to sleep is gonna go to sleep, as far as I'm concerned. Whatever, who really cares? So, uh, go for the spore, and I put a bat to sleep. Which is weird that it's still flying when it's asleep, but hey, Pokemon logic! Maybe it's floating like a Magnemite, because, you know, apparently they float, but they can still get hit by Earthquake. Uh, and then you got this thing, which, you know, it doesn't even seem like it can float because it's so heavy. Anyway, I thought he was going to switch to something, so I went into my Scarfer, and I'm like, oh, this is the perfect opportunity to do the Flamethrower. I don't know what Bronzong is going to do, but I'm pretty sure it's not going to do a whole lot. <laughs> Zen head, but I can take that like a beast. You know, Electivire really is a ten. Oh. <laughs> So yeah, are you bandit or what? That's ridiculous. How did you one hit KO me? Don't even give me that crap. So I'm gonna make you smell my feet now. Um, thought about a high jump kick, and then I'm like, ah, uh, maybe I'll just go for the safe attack, because um, I'm kind of thinking about Pokemon Emerald right now. <laughs> I've been playing through Pokemon Emerald on my Pandora. God, that device is awesome. But anyway, I'm like, ah, uh, how am I gonna train my Zapdos? Oh, wait a minute. Wait, not Zapdos. Freaking Raichu. What am I talking about? Uh, <laughs> I was like, how am I going to train my Raichu? Um, oh wait, Tate and Liza are coming up, I'm going to get raped. So anyway, what, what's happening in the battle? You guys are watching it, right? Because I'm sure not. Uh, he protected, I blaze kicked predicting that. Now I thought that he was going to stay in predicting another blaze kick, but he just went out to this. And I should have used ankle kick, because the best he could have done to me is knocked off my life. Oh wait, counter, never mind. Um, <laughs> I don't know what my thought process was there. It was use high jump kick, I don't care about recoil because I have wish. That was probably my thought process, and I sucker punch because I figure it can't willow wisp me. What's the what's it, what's it gonna do? Heck, I don't care. Uh, I don't care about anything. Okay, so I'm gonna send in my love disc now as he taunts me, and I'm like, well, that sucks. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and switch out now because I do not feel like sitting in here and just using boiling water on you since burn doesn't really do anything. Not like I would get the burn anyway, but hey, whatever. Go into my just say no because drugs are awesome. And uh, luckily for me, he goes for the T-Bolt, so I, you know, dodged a bullet there. Or rather, dodged a lightning bolt, I guess you could say. So I figured this was a pretty good opportunity to switch to this guy because he's probably gonna taunt me. And, um, what can this guy do again? <laughs> can't really even touch it. Oh, right. Uh, ice Shard, and that's it. Not my one of my better ideas. Anyway, it goes into uh, a Bronze Thong now. A Bronze Thong. That would really hurt. Can you imagine that? A Bronze Thong. That, that, that would be really restrictive. I can't even believe... You, you need to breathe and be able to be free, you know. But, um... Anyhow, I'm gonna go ahead and kill him with a superpower now, because I don't... I'm getting really off track in this video. Uh... <laughs> Uh, goodbye, Bronzong. Uh, you're an OU, so... Bye! You just got owned by Mamoswine. I love this Mamoswine. It's awesome. Bulky lead Mamoswine for the win! Um, anyway, in comes the Lucario. And this Lucario is a bit of a butt. It completely screwed me over. But, um... Anyway, I was like, fighting attack! So, let's send in this guy, because... Fighting attack! And I was thinking I might be able to take it well, because... Um resist and holy jesus that did a lot of damage what are you like what are you like ridiculously magic attack there that's that that's a bit 
Ah, that's a bit ridiculous. Anyway, I gotta switch now, because... You know, another one to kill me, so I'm going to this guy, because it's basically the physical place. And, um... Oh my god, I hate Lucario. This is why I fight you, you, because Lucario is just annoying. I mean, it's impossible to, once you get the swords dance off, and it's like, if you don't have anything, like a ghost type to avoid extreme speed, you're screwed. So I knew I could take one, and I was like, oh god, please, just get a burn with boiling water. That's all I want right now, is if you could just burn that thing. That would be very, very nice, Evo Light. Just do it, please. Do it. Do it. Burn it. Do something. Kill it. I don't know. Um, yeah, don't kill it, and don't get the burn. Oh my god, <laughs> my luck sucks. When I need the burn, I don't get it. When I don't need it, it's just like, hey, I'm gonna use burn, I'm gonna use boiling water on this chancy and I get the burn. It's just like, really? Okay, anyway, it gives me with a crunch. And I'm gonna send in this guy, because I was thinking maybe I could live the extreme speed if he has it, and I can get my shard off, and he switches. So, hooray, no extreme speed! I'm not gonna get swept, and he sends in a popsicles. Freaking popsicles is awesome. Um. Yeah, I went for the ice shot, obviously, his priority and all that. And it's looking like I might be able to finish it off with a superpower and being super effective and all. It seems like his pops goes as more of a physical wall than mine is, because mine's obviously special. Anyway, I'm going to go for it. Mammoth Swine's pretty powerful, and it does the job pretty nicely, I have to say. Good job, Mammoth Swine! Uh, you know, sticking it to him there with your giant tusks or whatever. Whatever you use to hit people with. I mean, you don't have a trunk, so that's kind of weird. I always thought it should have had a trunk, but I guess it is kind of, like, kind of part pig. So it's, it's, it's like bacon. Like, frozen bacon? I don't know. In comes a haunter. Ice shard still does a lot, so that's all that matters. Um, I know I can take a couple shadow balls. Oh, wait, that was a crit. Never mind. Yeah, that crit, I'm gonna say, sort of mattered because this is a bulky one. And in comes his Jodeon, and if he hadn't critted me, I MIGHT have been able to live an attack. I don't know, I probably wouldn't have, because it's specs, but... You know, maybe, I lived a stab sh I would have lived a stab Shadow Ball pretty nicely, so... You know, I was thinking maybe his unstab Shadow Ball wouldn't have done a whole lot, but, um... I don't know, whatever, he goes for the Shadow Ball and I die, which sucks... A lot. Sucks big balls right there. So I'm gonna make you smell my feet for that, because that was dumb. So now he's gonna switch this turn. Uh, I went for the ankle kick, because I don't even know. <laughs> Nothing really gets hurt by it that he has anymore. I just went for it, because I figured I'll lower something's speed when it comes in, unless it's Haunter, and that'll screw me over. Um, anyway, in comes a Dracula. So, man, I don't have my m m m m m m m m around anymore to freaking pass a wish, so now I'm gonna die because of Life Orb. You know, Life Orb is a blessing and a curse. It makes this hit only just rape, but at the same time, it makes it get raped. <laughs> I mean, it just wrecked myself there. Um, oh well, I guess that's what happens when Chuck Norris plays with fire. He just wrecks everybody, including himself. So I send in this, because it's basically all I can do, I guess. And I want to put something to sleep, so I guess Lucario is better than nothing, eh? He goes for Swords Dance. I guess he figured something or something, or something. I don't know. I put it to sleep. <laughs> I'm just like, go to sleep, Lucario. Nobody likes you, so go for the Giga Drain here. I'm like, yeah, it'll just take it out. Oh, wait, no, it lived with, like, three hit points. Come on! That's ridiculous. So I'm like, okay, well, he'll be a sli- Come on, go back to sleep! What is this? I was, I was thinking about using Synthesis as well, and I'm like, nah, he won't wake up. <sighs> Boy, was I wrong. Yeah, first turn wake up is really annoying. So, he goes down to his life orb, but now I'm kind of screwed because there's a Jolteon, and all I have left is this and my uh, Espeon, and, you know, Specs Jolteon, and, you know, you know, you know. So, you know, and, uh, you know, and, you know, I die, you know. You know, he killed my mushroom, you know. <sighs> I was gonna get high with that! Unfortunately, I can't because you killed it, but whatever, sends in the Zoroark now. Which I guess is a sort of clever name for it, because people always disguise their work as that. Um, I go into my reflections of the way life used to be. It's a song I hear at work all the time. I don't even know. So I just psychic and finish that guy off. And I'm like, oh, come on, Espeon. You can totally take a Shadow Ball because you're a little cat thing. I don't know. Just take it. Take it or you're going to get a beating. No catnip for you if you die. And, well, you're not getting fed tonight, Espeon. Screw that. Anyway, uh, that was a really, really, really extremely close game. So, um, 
I'm gonna blame it on a Lucario, because I can. And in no way that was at my own stupidity, you know, because I'm definitely smart. See you guys next time.